6th of December. You enter the next room with a sense of satisfaction that you managed to solve the riddle by thinking outside the box. You stop a moment to let your eyes focus and get used to the dim light. And after a short time, you realize that you are in the archive. The walls are lined with floor to ceiling shelves full of ancient folios and folders. The earthquake caused some major devastation here. Books that fell out of the various compartments during the tremors have been se severely damaged. A few pages have come loose and are scattered across the floor. Suddenly, you hear a crackling and hissing sound that sounds familiar. And from the back of the room, a speaker blares. <laughs> Should actually ha uh, have arrived in the archive by now with my calculations. <laughs> Comes the voice of Santa Claus. <laughs> You're probably wondering what's going on here. Certainly, boss, you call out loudly, but then you realize that the correct uh, connection is one way, and he can't hear you. <coughs> Never experienced anything like that. <coughs> Before I saw through my binoculars that there was a stranger approaching the workshop. <coughs> I'm not allowed it to be discovered. <coughs> it has always been the top Christmas commandment. <coughs> commandment. I have to do something. The boss last sentence sounded downright desperate. For minutes, you stare at the loudspeaker, hoping that you will get more information, but the device remains silent. You try to make sense of what you just heard. What was that about a stranger? If someone happened upon the Christmas workshop, then what would indeed be a big problem? The fact that this place has to remain secret is something that all employees learn in their basic training. But what does that this intruder have to do with the earthquake and the storm? And with that in, ensuing silence, which was has fallen so desperately all over the rooms, nothing quite fits together. It, it's all the more improvement now that you find the boss quickly, so he explains to you face to face who he saw, but where where will you find the three necessary digits in all this mess? Something crunches under your shoe. You nearly crush a magnifying glass on the floor, and oh, underneath the glass lies two strange cards. Surely they must hold the clue to find out. Find, get out of here. Oh, now open door six. Employee ID card, Tobias Flitz. Oh my god. A mother, a uh, face, a mother, only a mother could love. What's in, what's that under the mistletoe? Oh, look, a little, ha <laughs> real magnifying glass. Awesome. Blue eye. Look at that, wow. It really keeps going. Cool, cool. Let's get to solving. Alright, so this is how we solve this one. We got this little note right here. It says increase the number digit by one. And we got this card right here. What's under the, what's that under the mistletoe? What does this look similar like? Well, close the advent calendar. It's the advent calendar. So it's the advent, so you got the exit right there, exit, you got the window, and what's under the mistletoe. You got these little digits right here. Then it says three, four, six. And if you follow the other one, so it's four, five, seven. That's the code. Using the little magnifying glass. So 457 in the coder tells us L moon moon. So we start from here, down, down, up, L moon moon, L moon moon. We got here day seven. All right. Yeah. <laughs> This is so cool. I love all the little trinkets and all the little puzzles. It's great. I love it. Let's keep it going. Rah.